Thank you very much for listening to me. It is an honor to be here. Just to let you know, I will not be telling any jokes today. If you want Britain's Got Talent, that's happening next door. I am Aunt Lewis. I have had aphasia since 2007. When I had a stroke, I was playing football, heading the ball. I hit another player in the head resulted in headache the next day, a blood clot in the brain. Before, I was assistant editor of the Jet. Communication was my life. Then, it was gone. It has been a hard journey but bit by bit. Progress. Aphasia means no speech, no writing. I am language impaired. More than 350,000 people in the UK have aphasia, a disorder of language and communication while stroke isn't the only cause of aphasia, it's by far the biggest. Around a third of people who have a stroke will experience aphasia it can affect a person's ability to understand, speak, read, write and use numbers. However, it doesn't affect a person's intelligence. One of the biggest challenges for people affected by aphasia is that many people don't know enough about it or how they can help. Perhaps a little bit about me will help. My typical day 7 a.m. bathroom. My right leg. I have a bit of movement. My right arm. No real movement shower. I have to sit down. Shaving and washing my teeth. I had to learn everything with my left arm. Dressing myself. It is difficult. Stairs. Right leg. It is hard. Painful. No. But. Hard work. My walking has improved little by little but it is still difficult. My older son Joe 11 year old I make him breakfast. Weetabix. Strawberries and a smoothie he talks while I make his packed lunch. Me. I only have to talk a little, which is nothing to do with my aphasia. I drive Joe to Gravel School. Yes, I can drive. I have an adapted automatic car and was supported by Driving for the Disabled. An amazing charity. Later, I take Joe to football. Cricket. Hockey, or more. I have another son, William, who is five years old. Joe, William and I, playing footy. I also have a 23-year-old son called Reese. I am a grandpa. I know what you are thinking. He's too young for that. You are very kind. Finally, dinner chicken stir-fry. Right arm. No. But it is easier these days. Joe's homework. It is difficult to help with my aphasia. Sometimes I'm not sure if I could answer regardless of my stroke. But it is a good excuse. In the day, I am busy. I have joined lots of charitable committees. The Stroke Association. The Disability Partnership. The Daisy Trust which runs the Daisy Cottage Retreat and Campsite in St. Anne, and driving for the disabled. Writing is difficult. I had to learn to write with my left hand, but technology has helped a lot. My iPad helps me to communicate and I can now read using a special camera attached to glasses. Thank you, I can. This year, I stood for the states as senator. I missed out on being elected by 300 votes. I was not disappointed. It was a great experience. Friendship at the Huskings and a strong team of supporters. I hope I raised the profile of the disabled and since then I have been approached by a number of organizations who have asked for my help.
Like Jersey Sport and Bailenwick Express. Since my stroke, I have fought to give disabled islanders a voice. I walked the Jersey Marathon, and then ran half of it two years later. In 2012, 112 islanders, which is the number of people who have a stroke in Jersey each year, joined me on a cycle ride from London to Paris. We raised more than £150,000 for the Stroke Association and Driving for the Disabled. Before my stroke, I helped organize Side by Side, where 5,000 people stood on the beach to show their support for the victims of the 2004 tsunami. Now, I want disabled and non-disabled being side by side in Jersey, working together socializing together and playing sport together. Today I am a busy dad but I also cutting my teeth playing archery, as you can see from this video. <clears throat> The disability discrimination law is positive, but it is the start of a journey, with a magic wand. I end the discrimination and stigma around disability, gender issues, mental health, sexuality, age and race. This is a cause that needs political leadership, which is why I stood for the states. Changing perceptions is difficult and there are no easy answers, but attitudes are changing. Many young people especially see disability as normal. I want everyone, disabled and able-bodied, treated the same and I am proud to play my small part. Britain's Got Talent winner Lee Ridley, a comedian with cerebral palsy, well done. Like me. He uses a voice synthesizer to speak. What a great guy. He was brilliant and an inspiration to everyone. Innovative stuff. Bit by bit, it is progress. Change will happen slowly, but we cannot get frustrated. We must be positive. I have a lot to live for because I am learning every day. As well as archery I have lots of other challenges on my to-do list. The disabled bring a new perspective to everyday life. One formed by both success and hardship. We often see things in a different way. And that can be good for business. For me, life is not all about work. 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 It's about taking every opportunity and seeing positives everywhere. Please see disability not as a cost but as an opportunity. We all have something to give and this new law is a small step in helping everyone realize their potential. Thank you for listening.